Hello there, and welcome to the wonderful world of mFiles Manage. In this video, we'll be going through the mFiles Manage tool and how it can be used to manage your subscription. You can access mFiles Manage with your browser by going to manage.mfiles.com. You need to have administrator role for your mFiles subscription to access mFiles Manage. So please contact your subscription administrator to gain the access. This is the mFiles Manage homepage. Within the homepage, you can see an overview of your mFiles subscription, the amount of user licenses you have purchased and allocated to mFiles users. There is also some other useful information about your subscription usage, such as the information security contacts. The Users page provides more details about your mFiles users. On this page you can, for example, adjust the user license or vault access of each user. Also, the user's role in mFiles Manage can be seen and modified. From the Vaults page, you can find all the vaults associated with your subscription. You can also drill into the details of each vault. If you're working with vault applications, you can download the log files of the vault application from the vault details page. You can also add a trusted person who will be the first contact to authorize requests concerning changes to the Vault users, Vault data, or data access in mFiles Cloud. The Downloads page allows you to generate customized installation packages for installing the latest version of mFiles Desktop Client as well as mFiles Admin Tool. You can select the language version and pre-configure Vault connections for the client and send the installation package link to any of your mFiles users. You can easily purchase more mFiles user licenses if you have access to the mFiles shop. User provisioning is a very powerful way to manage large number of mFiles users, their user licenses, and access to vaults. This is the part that our customers are most interested in, and no wonder. Let me show you. In case your company is using Azure AD for user management, we recommend setting the Azure AD configuration to provision users into mFiles. If you have user groups defined in Azure AD, you can set the mFiles user license that you want to allocate for each group. By linking Azure AD group to a user group within a vault, you can do all the mFiles user access and user license management in Azure AD like you probably do for many other applications your company uses. No need to go to mFiles Manage at all. Now that is handy, isn't it? And that was the summary of the key features of mFiles Manage. Now I recommend you try it yourself. And if needed, you can always go and look at the mFiles Manage user guide for more details. Take care.